The Ghana Revenue Authority, GRA, has been taxed to mobilize 146 billion cities in taxes for 2024. However, the finance minister is pushing the authority to collect 170 billion cities. At a staff gathering to mark this year's May Day celebrations, the GRA boss emphasized the need for a robust 90-day plan to improve revenue collection. And revenue growth is fundamental to the 90-day plan. Uh, staff welfare is fundamental because, after all, it's our staff who are collecting the revenue. Staff welfare is important. How the citizens of Ghana see GRE. What is the face of GRE that they see? Uh, whether we harass or not, this perception is reality. So it's up to us to change that perception. How do we change that perception? It's collaboration, it's tax education, and it's making our citizens feel that we are partners. She highlighted taxpayer engagement to improve compliance. We are partners in this journey. My uh, goal to really um, have a stakeholder engagement. Um, who are my large taxpayers? How do I engage them? How do I work with the mining industry? How do I work uh, with the Bankers Association? How do I work with telcos? But how do I partner with my large taxpayers? And we have 90 days to actually um, really leverage that platform. The GRA Workers Union through the national chairman Theophilus Ehu called for a national tax dialogue to promote and inculcate taxpaying culture in the citizenry. It could start from the cabinet having the resolve, parliamentarians all having the resolve, that it is time for us to raise domestic resources through taxes. I gave an example of incentive um, package when it has to do with payment of taxes. If you pick a country like South Korea, when they battled with their informal sector, they introduced an incentive package with a VET so that when you, you request for the value added tax receipt, you are given some form of a rebate. You pick a country like um, Rwanda, they have also adopted the um, same. So we recommend that if we decouple the incentive package to the payment of taxes, especially for the informal sector, it will be a wild good chase. Oh.